back. You are watching DXB today, and I am so excited to be joined by another fabulous Dina, aka Dina Stars. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Now, you have opened up for some pretty big names. Tell us a few names just quickly before we start. So I've opened up for Take That. That was a, at the start of my career, and also Calvin Harris. So that That's pretty great. awesome. Is there any, any artist that you would just dream of opening up for? Oh, there's a list. <laughs> there's a list coming out. Um, but yeah, I would say like Ariana Grande, uh, Dua Lipa, like some of the people watching. in the pop world that I really <laughs> like. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you. Now, you've got some pretty exciting releases coming up. Tell us about that. So I've got my EP releasing after Ramadan. So that's going to be my first EP release. And there are some some songs that have like, they've been in the draft for such a long time. So I'm super excited to like finally put it out there for the world to hear. Um, so yeah, that's coming up. Now you've been doing this full time for what, seven years? Seven years. How yes. tough is it? Cause you got original music, huh? <sighs> well, it's been a journey, honestly, but it's been super exciting. And Dubai is like the land of opportunities. So it's been really overwhelming to, you know, discover my sound, build an audience, gig around the region. And recently I've also had my first European show. So, and some international shows. So that's been like really exciting in my career. And now finally also like taking the step to releasing more original music this year. Well, you are just so incredibly talented. I'm very excited for you. Any piece of advice you have for people who are trying to follow in your footsteps and trying to follow the same sort of path? Well, I would just say, put your music out there and build a following, build a fan base. Um, I feel like a lot of people forget about that, but that's really vital in today's um, in, in today's age, especially like social media. So being there, putting your story out, connecting with people, building relationship with your audience, because these are the people that are gonna be empowering you and supporting you. So just don't be afraid and just go out there. And if you really are passionate about it, put it out there and I, I promise work pays off. Well, speaking of social media, you're very active and I think you're very talented at everything <laughs> you do, honestly, Dina. Thank you. And not just because you're also called Dina, but uh, <laughs> if people do want to, you know, stay on top of your news, catch you yeah. in shows, obviously here in the UAE and abroad, uh, what's your Instagram page? It's at Dina Stars Official everywhere on all the social handles. So I've got pretty exciting uh, shows coming out after Ramadan. So at Dina Stars Official, Everywhere is where you'll find like all the news, all the shows, all the updates, all the songs. <laughs> yeah, I wish you the best of luck with you and Thank your EP. You. I'm very Thank excited you so to much. Thank you so much. And we're, we're really excited for your performance. Guys, don't go anywhere because she'll be performing in just a few minutes. But first, we're exploring initiatives that celebrate humanitarian projects and initiatives. Ahmed went down to witness Arab Hope Makers, the largest initiative in the Arab world dedicated to philanthropic endeavors. Meet some of the key members of the event. Check it out. I'm here at the Coca-Cola Arena, attending the fourth edition of the Arab Hope Makers event. This initiative is organized by His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Global Initiatives. It focuses on individuals and institutions that want to make a change in the world. Follow me as we know more. It was a big pleasure, honestly, to be part of this uh, amazing ceremony. Um, usually I think about hope, about positivity. Today I got that hope from the audience because I'm performing in front of the, the, the Arab Hopes Maker, the best of Arab Hopes Maker. So it was something different. It's a different concert for me um, to be inspired by the audience and by the stories that we saw. Why do you think it's important to have an event like this in the Arab world? I think people will be encouraged when, see, when they see that big events like these are happening and their efforts are awarded and people notice it will inspire more and more people and the next generation to take part.
moved when I announced it, because if I were in their shoes, I would have gone on cloud nine. As you can see, the event has concluded and every single one of the four finalists have won. It's amazing, the vibes are great, everyone is celebrating, and each one of them had an individual story that made them win and it resonated with everyone around here. As you saw, I went down to the Arab Hope Makers event, which is a great initiative, and it just makes you feel good that there's a lot of good in the world. And if you've missed any parts of the show or you just want to see anything again, you can always go to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Dubai One. We've got a lot of Ahmed on this episode. <laughs> We're celebrating you today. If you'd like to see more of Ahmed on YouTube, but also on Instagram, where we are giving away prizes, lots of prizes, guys. Every day we've got vouchers for home improvement, walk boys, free with sparkling water, supper club experiences with Splito, and so, so much more. Make sure you head down to our Instagram page, guys, Dubai One TV, and check it out. Yes, indeed, and remember the hashtag. Yes, hashtag DXP today. Keep it going, keep it flowing, let everyone know. Ah, afraid that's all for today. Join us again next week, though, as we catch up on the city's action-packed racing season. It's gonna be a good one this year. But now, as promised, it's time for the performance of the night. This is Dina Stars. Tell you what, there were times you were deceiving. Tell you what, some of them got me believing. Why the wicked you have me telling?